WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there right now. The mix goes like this. Dow's down 49 points. S&P's off 18. NASDAQ 100 to 135. The Russell is up 9 points. Semis are down 3. Trainers are off 39. Gold is up... Uh, 40 cents. Silver's up 52 pennies. That's a 2% move for silver. Light three crude is off 17 cents. National gas pulling back a nickel. 30 year treasury down four ticks, printing out at 118.19. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. Now, in the ES Mini, there's a new profile that's been attempting to form since early this morning. Right now, in the black background chart, it shows support at 5201. We're trading at 5195. Later on in the show, we'll take a look at my white background charts. They have a different profile. We use both. That support levels at 5167. Spot volatility still remains above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is printed out at 1399. A spot VIX at 1456. Watch that 1399 level. If we take a look at the NQ, so this is pretty interesting, at least at this stage of the game. So far, as of 1101, what you and I can say is that the move lower inside the NQ is a counter trend move to the downside. Now, at day's end, we might not be able to say that, but 1101, we absolutely can. Why can we say that, Stevie? Because price found support at the center of that bearish structured profile, 18026. Low this morning, 18029. Now, if price were to close below 18029, I'm sorry, 18026. That would signal something different than just a counter trend move. It would at least tell us that price is going to go target support, which is down at 17761. U.S. dollar index confirmed that by the D point, that Gartley buy pattern yesterday. That was a big old bullish engulfing candle. Price did close about the top of its daily profile. It is struggling right now at the bottom of its weekly. And that's a level that if gold was able to close up gold, if the dollar was able to close above 103032, that would signal we've got more to come. And that would then suggest that Goldilocks is going to move down towards the bottom of its profile. And that's at the 2109 area. Again, silver is trading with inside its swing point. That's a swing from December 4th. As long as it stays above uh, 2503, odds favor a test of 2657. There is no topping pattern inside of silver. Light speed crude has got the A to B equals CD pattern. It's one to one initial price projection levels at 8147. Above that would be 8418. And yesterday, you had natural gas pull back, test that by the D point pattern it's held but the problem is the bottom of that profile is resistance that's at 177 and the 30-year treasury looks to me like it wants to go target those lows from February that's anywhere between the 117.11 to the 118.09 area folks stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show if you would but if you have to start your day have a wonderful one have a fabulous weekend fabulous Friday and we'll see you on Monday take care and be safe out there Everything in the universe is